Hello YouTube, it's me Miss Nick, aka Nikki3026 from Miss Nick's Elegant Edge on blogspot.com. Um, I just wanted to talk with you guys today about um, shampoos and sulfates. Um a little bit more in depth. Um because in response to my co-washing video, um all I kept getting and all I kept hearing was that shampoos have sulfates in them. And I'm going to be first to say and the first to admit that I didn't have a clue to what any of them were talking about. So I went and I looked up what the sulfate was that they were talking about. Um, you know, you, you read these the back of these bottles, the back of the products, and see these words, these big words that nobody's ever heard of, or, you know, ever cared to really think about. Um, and you look at them, and you're like, hmm, I wonder what that is, but you never really take the time out to research it. And so, what I did was, when I went to my mother's hair salon, I looked at all the shampoos that she had and all the, the, the product line that she uses and they have sulfates in them. I looked at the shampoos that I have here at home and I'm surrounded by a lot of shampoos. Um, and they have sulfates in them. So what I did next was I went and looked up what the sulfate was, what, what it was, what it does, what it what, what's the purpose. So, like all chemicals, they have a reason why they're in the product in the first way. And like all chemicals, they do have adverse negative effects, especially if they're, they're being misused. Um, all of the websites that I came across about the product, it's, I mean, not the product, but the chemical itself, They've been testing them on innocent little lab rats. Now, I have a major issue with that. That is by far disgusting. And it's just terrible. Um, I'm not a fan of mice. I'm not a fan of rats or anything. But it's just sad. Anyway, and, and another thing. A lab rat is not the same as a human being. So, let me just, put, let me just throw that out there too. That's two, two different things. Um, however, it's been said that the sulfates, which I'm not going to even dare to pronounce them, but I'll put them in the animation in the video, um, along with a little bit more information about them. It's been said that these sulfates can be damaging to the hair follicle. Um, but the purpose of the sulfate itself is to cleanse um, the hair and the scalp and rid it of dirt and oil. This same sulfate that's in our shampoo is also in a lot of the stuff that we use around the house. Like our laundry detergent, our hand soap, our antibacterial hand soap. It's in there too. Um, my favorite body wash. It's in there too. This body wash by Avon. Skin so soft. It's in there too. And another thing um, that kind of caught me out, guys. Like, you know, I'm like, okay, so it's in all this stuff. What's in this? I know that may be TMI, but you know, I'm going to be real. It's in here too. And like I said, the purpose of the the chemical itself is to clean and to um, get rid of dirt and oils. Um, and it's found in a lot of beauty cosmetic products for that purpose. Um, I also researched that some of these products have over the um, required amount in these products, which can make them damaging. But at lower quantities, which it shouldn't go any more than two percent, is going. It's not going to be, you know, such an issue. Now, I've never had 
any type of scalp or skin irritant from any of these products that I use, body wash, the feminine wash, the shampoo, none of that. Even though it has been reported to have um, some skin irritating effect. So, my thoughts on that is, if you don't want to use shampoos with sulfates, find shampoos that don't have sulfates in them. Um, I know a lot of people um, are doing that now. Um, you can find organic shampoos that are, you know, good for you, just as good, work just as well. Um, I even saw a commercial the other day, which was yesterday. Um, I was laying on the couch. And they have sulfate free shampoo. But like I said, some of these, if, if you use them um, and you use, if you're overusing them and using too much, then yeah, it may cause um, some irritation. And everything is not for everybody. So when it comes to the sulfates and the shampoo, I think that along with all other chemicals they all have a purpose and if you misuse them they have adverse negative effects um use everything i would suggest use everything in moderation um, um if you have to um i don't know why you would overuse it but i would think with these lab rats which, like I said, is totally different in humans. Um, they probably were just pouring this stuff on them, just be washing them and torching them. I mean, it's, it just breaks my heart. I mean, I don't agree with um, abusing them and treating them as lab uh, subject, you know, subject to, allowing them to be subject to dangerous chemicals that they are putting in products. And another thing, as long as we live in American society and live in this day and age, we're gonna be surrounded by chemicals. The food that we eat has preservatives in them, which is chemicals. I mean, I know a lot of people are doing the green, the organic thing right now, but a lot of us, you know, these sulfates are not only in the shampoos, but they're in everything that we use to keep ourselves clean, smelling fresh, and good. If you are trying to be sulfate free as far as your shampoo goes, just be aware because of their heart, the harsh damaging effect on your hair or for whatever reason. Just know that it's in your hand soap, it's in your body wash, it's in your laundry detergent, and it's also in your personal hygiene products, personal hygiene products. So. I just wanted to share that with you guys. Um, I'm going to do a video about some hair products that I purchased this week, along with some other stuff that I purchased, get my personal thoughts and reviews on them. Um, I also purchased the um, Glue Free Quick Weave. It should be here before the week is up. So I'm gonna try to make it my business to do a Quick Weave tutorial for you guys soon as I can get everything together um, so I can do that. Until next time, ladies and gents, um, peace and blessings.